I get asked a lot in the comment section, how do I give to the Patreon account? Well, I'm putting a picture in here and uh, it's at the top, when you're looking at the screen, the top right corner of the main page of my channel, there's a, there's a link to a Patreon account. Or in the description, there's also a link to the Patreon account. All you gotta do is click on either one of those and you're in. And uh, we appreciate everybody giving to the Patreon account. Welcome to another video from Guaylao 60. We're at it again. We got a call from the orphanage. I guess kids are uh, lacking shoes. Yeah, so uh, we're, we're at the wholesale place here in Nanang looking for, I don't know, I think 50 pairs of shoes. Wei Vong, how many shoes? 80. 80 pairs of shoes. 80 pairs of shoes, guys. Uh, that's one thing that wears out on a regular basis is shoes and they grow out of them kids grow out of them so fast that uh, yeah so uh, that's that's exactly what we're doing here and we've got a buddy that has a shoe store and he said well I'm not gonna sell you the shoes because they're just too expensive because I'm retail you got to go to this wholesale guy he'll give you a deal so that's exactly where we're headed right now to uh, to our buddies friend wholesaler that uh, is supposed to be gonna give us a great deal on a whole bunch of shoes it's like we're starting up a shoe store only we're not we're gonna give them all away and I'm wearing old shoes <laughs> they're comfortable <laughs> As I've said before, we couldn't do this without Wei Fong and her dickering and, and uh, making deals and stuff because she goes and she finds the best products for the best prices to, to make your dollars go a lot further. And uh, again, I have to say it, uh, without you guys out there, without the patrons giving to the Patreon, uh, the Children's Helping Hands Patreon account, uh, we couldn't do any of this. So thank you very much for, for helping out. I just leave her alone and let her do the decorate because she is really good at it. This this lady, I've never seen her buy anything that isn't on sale. She went to Canada. She had 20 bucks Canadian in her pocket one time when we came back to Canada from China. Six months later, she still had that 20 bucks in her pocket. The perfect wife. Oh yeah. Oh, she's in the middle of a, of a, a dickering session here. Uh, the, the larger store, no deals, don't care if you're an orphan or not. So Wei Fong just said, I'm not dealing with you. So she's off to a smaller store and once the, the lady saw that she's looking for 80 pairs of shoes. And the thing that I thought was, that was really weird was that the orphanage wants them to be all the same. The same color type thing, different sizes mind you, but all the same color and uh, they would be sort of like uh, part of a uniform. And you know uniforms are like uh, a big thing here in China, especially for school and stuff like that. Everybody wears exactly the same thing. Uh, I, th I think that's a good thing. But uh, I thought that was a little strange that they wanted them all the same. How do you know who shoes who? I guess they might write their names on it or whatever. But uh, Wei Fong has uh, found a lady here that really wants to do a deal and she's making it very uh, inexpensive for us which is uh, uh, a good thing because as anybody knows when you start buying 80 pairs of anything uh, a couple bucks here and a couple bucks there makes a big difference in the total cost so uh, she's out to get the best bang for your buck guys and girls you know when things are getting serious is when she takes out her calculator Wah. and Wei Fong tries these shoes on she makes sure that the shoes are something that she would wear if she wouldn't wear them she won't buy them so uh, uh, and she wouldn't expect the kids to, to have to wear them so if they're good enough for her they're good enough for the kids is the way she looks at it so she gets the same shoe in her size and tries on each shoe to make sure they're good enough how's that for dedication and Wei Fong talked the orphanage into having two different colors now um, black for the boys and pink for the girls yeah because like if the boys aren't going to wear pink and the girls don't want to wear black they'd rather wear pink so whatever is best for the kids right so uh, she's uh, she's wheeling and dealing still by, by Jesus and she's got her down to uh, who's gonna deliver them <laughs> you know what I mean always she's always got an angle so uh, 80 pairs of shoes black for the boys pink for the girls so finding it was 81 pairs of shoes you bought today yes yes and uh, did you did you get a good deal uh, 
I was want to do like 25 kind of in my mind, but so uh, what did you, what did you pay per per shoe? 36. 36 RMB. Yeah, so minimum. Seven seven bucks a shoe. Canadian. Mm -hmm. You know, that's the one good thing about China, when you're looking for stuff like this, and you know, because the first place we went to, it was what, 89? You know, so she she dickered down from like 89. No, I don't even try it because I, I well, don't, no, but they, you don't, do. they don't have that kind of lovely heart. Forget it. Yeah, you see, we, 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 we find people that know that we're doing it for an orphanage and uh, they make nothing basically off of uh, the sale to us. They're doing it out of the kindness of their heart. So we went to the right place to get the blankets. We went to the right place to get the shoes. What about the teddy bears? You got a deal on the teddy bears? Tomorrow, okay. Tomorrow we're gonna go get the teddy bears because we're running because out of time today. It's a, it's a winter first day today. I need to go to Zap to see Dad. Yeah, we got we got to go uh, make Dad a special meal and take it to him in the old folks home. So uh, that concludes this video for today. But we're gonna make it a two part anyway. So uh, we'll uh, we'll be back. Uh, yesterday we were shopping for shoes, 81 pairs. Today is uh, not a necessity unless you're looking at. Uh, you know, a little child, Christmas Day, no presents, in an orphanage. You, you think about that, guys, and girls. Uh, it shows that they're, they're somebody. It shows that they're wanted. It shows that somebody is thinking about them. And I think that's the most important thing. And having a teddy bear to sleep with at night. There's nothing the matter with that. So we're teddy bear shopping here today. Because there's uh, 60 kids, six, six and under, they're all getting a teddy bear at Christmas time. So you guys like these? Look, look at this stuff here, and and uh, these ones are what eight RMB each. Eight RMB each. So so they're they're nice ones. It's it's not uh, not the we're not buying the cheap ones. We want them to have some nice stuff here. And it's not, you see, we're spending our time doing this, but it's not us that's, that's spending the money. It's you guys are spending the money. We appreciate that 100%. Uh, if it wasn't for you guys, these little kids would not be getting these presents for Christmas. So uh, thank you, thank you, thank you. And we don't want them all to be the same. So like what we got to do is we've got to find like 60, not all different, but uh, because uh, the kids are in different sections of the, the orphanage. So, uh, you know, we don't want a whole bunch to be the same. You, you know what I mean. We want it to be special. We, we take this whole one, okay? Do you take that whole one? I okay. I like this more though. That one's a nice one, yeah. Ho, 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 Merry Christmas. 60, 60 teddy bears in two bags. It took a lot to get them into two bags, let me tell you. It's going to take a lot more to get this on an e-bike with Wei Fong and me. And we got to drive all the way across town. So, Gui Lao, Wei Fong, and 60, 62 teddy bears. Gotta love it. <laughs> Yeah, I do this for the kids. It's all fun and games until... Oh, and you thought this was high tech. No, we're low tech. We're nanning. Hey, get on the teddy bear bike. Come on. We made it home with all of the, the teddy bears intact. Wei Fong said it couldn't be done, but it could be done. Anyway, that's another video from Gui Lao 60. If you like this video, as always, like, comment, subscribe, push a share button, hit the bell, make a comment so they don't think you're spam. And uh, whatever you do, don't forget to put a couple bucks in the children's patron account. It's for a good cause. Poor rural Chinese children, they just need a helping hand. We can help them. Help us help them. Thanks for watching. Bye now. So Wei Fong, how much did this cost you? 496. 496 RMB for 62 teddy bears. Yes, not just the bear. I well, you got uh, some other things like yeah. Garfield and, and yeah. Peppa Pig and stuff like that. But so $100 Canadian mm. to make 62 kids happy. Mm. What do you think about that? Nice. Well done.